training the next generation of medical professionals to fight one of America's biggest killers. Yeah, an app that creators say can predict Alzheimer's disease years in advance was developed right here in Central Florida. And Fox 35's Kimberly Wiggins is going to show us how some are using it to find answers to fight this mind-robbing disease. They're two young people trying to ease conditions that have baffled adults for decades. Like Alzheimer's. Nikhil Patel and his sister Sapna. It's tested out on children with autism. Both enrolled in an honors level STEM program at Seminole State College. I wanted people to know um, that students here can do great things. Dr. Maya Byfield helps run the program. The first of its kind in Florida. I have a range from 15, so high school students, to uh, I've had students in their 40s uh, at the community college level. The projects range too. The Patels focus on one subject. They're very motivated. Um, they're both interested in the brain. Videos played. Nick Hill began his research three years ago when he was 12. He's developing an app that will diagnose Alzheimer's decades in advance. The siblings lost their grandmother to it two years ago. I committed myself to making sure that no one would ever have to suffer like she did again. His app includes three tests. One word is stated, a similar one is mouth. Subjects must decide what they've heard. It's able to identify that condition much earlier than if you were looking uh, at an MRI. Nickel, he is exceptional. He has a paper out. And the International Test and Evaluation Association Journal. All the correspondence is by email and by phone, so no one really knows that I'm uh, still a sophomore in high school. And I was pretty cool. His 14-year-old sister is also pretty cool, too. Her app focuses on this guy. A completely virtual avatar called a wubby. You just um, look at its facial cues. Children with autism try to read its facial clues, guessing what it needs. Parents say it's helped. It's just really nice to know that your research is actually having an impact. Still, there's nothing wrong with some friendly competition. Both will compete in the same division in an upcoming science fair. Really, yeah, at this point, um, if I win, I'd be happy, and if my sister wins, I'd be happy for her. Avatar therapy. Because in the end, science is number one. We have to prepare our students here in Central Florida at an earlier age. In Altamont Springs, Kimberly Wiggins, Fox 35 News. Well, their brother was actually one of the first students in that program five years ago. He's currently studying computer science at Harvard University.